Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign. Well, I'm trying to uh, be as decisive as possible in fighting back the aliens uh, with hundreds, well not literally hundreds but figuratively hundreds of mods installed. We're playing with double enemy size, yellow alert, uh, quite a few increasingly difficult aliens and new factions one of which are the bandits and today in operation black rage we're trying to get the scientist and 99 intel which is just as much that we need in order to gain back north america after we have lost it um, and uh, on top of it we would finally get even more scientists we got a good team andors cannon Inappropriate Murphy still on the case here. Sonar and Wrath that are going to go in. I like the team composition uh, and we're fighting against bandits, which supposedly are not an overpowered faction. So for once, it should be relatively straightforward. Let's jump right into the mission and see how we're doing. All right, guys, we just landed. Let's take a look. There is a lot of nice high ground up here. Long street. So if we place our snipers sort of here, that should be perfect aiming angles. And yeah, that's... I like taking snipers on VIP missions. Uh, they tend to not be the most mobile of units, but... If you manage to position them well at the beginning, you could actually get a lot of pow uh, power and benefit out of them. So say this here, for instance, could be a fantastic position, high ground throughout the majority of the mission. Equally, if we're able to get to that high ground there, we should actually be fine. Grenadier maybe somewhere over here. And Sonar can move up as well. So we're fighting this time against the bandits and uh, I've made up my mind with regards to those. Ooh, that is really bad. I wasn't expecting him to show up. So I made up my mind with regards to the uh, third-party factions. Uh, but let's shortly remember immune to explosions. Uh, chosen shoots to kill. We don't like that. Regenerates health. And we don't have a skirmisher with us. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. We got to uh, deal with it. So I was just saying uh, I've made up my mind with regards to the other factions. And since their pure presence makes the game a bit easier i actually will start uh, attacking them sooner meaning i'm trying to get for go for their headquarter first just to eliminate them i know that i will be making the game more difficult with that but equally uh, that was the whole idea to begin with i think they are a fantastic addition and i full-heartedly love kind of that royal rumble feeling with multiple factions but i just can't help myself uh, to think that it would be just a tiny bit more difficult if i had to deal with all of the aliens myself what is going on heavy purger and pathfinder oh well wow. Okay. I think Adler's been letting some of the rejects slip through production lately. I'll potentially need another turn to set up properly. I'd like to keep the high ground here.
Next turn I will engage. Until then... I would still wait for now. Alright, so overwatching. Could position ourselves up here, which is far enough away, or right here. I think we're going to take that place, which will effectively mean we can flank everything in the middle here. Sniper is in a really, really good spot. Oh, wow, even more enemies. Well, that's a nicely animated model with a scary looking gun. Mutant Hunter. What just happened? Did that guy fire a literal rail gun? Holy smokes. Well, we do have a problem, boys. We do have a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Luckily, that guy got the tracking shot. And so much for the bandits. I think that's pretty much GG. Good, so... Let's say we're... We're dealing with those two enemies. Okay, so that will be our target for an explosion. Fair enough. And in the meantime, I believe this here will be our best bet. That's three enemies and all of them might die. Remote start is just incredibly powerful. There we go. Three enemies down. It takes one to know one. Move to here, then lop a grenade and just use the high ground plus full cover. I guess not the worst idea. The only problem is pretty clustered up. So we need to see what we're doing with Inappropriate Murphy, but one step at a time. All right, I'll go. Doesn't matter that we're being, uh, that we're losing concealment. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's the spot. Double explosion. Gets the mutant to three hit points, right? Right. But we can move to here. Again, full cover, high ground. I like it. And 
and it solves this mutant issue for us. Good, we still got the mutant hunter, which I don't know how to deal with yet. Got that heavy purger, but we also got a riot control mac. And now the question of the day will be what to do, what to do. Starting to soften this guy up. an 84% chance. Look, I could go to here, right? Could go to here. That's half cover. Still got the potential mutant back there. Could go to here, but that's clustering up too much. I need to keep the high ground problem is uh, the distance. I could also go for this. Is That's not, not in cover. We know that there was a mutant and that would be in the open. Could we just charge one further into full cover? It actually would be my preferred solution. So I think for now we're continuing half cover. Not the greatest play I know. But we're at least getting that guy down. And this here could be another kill. Down to 1 HP. Um, what? You're not telling me that we're fighting two uh, of the Chosen at the same time. No, 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 no. That is a graphical display bug. It sure must be. The elders must have caught wind of our operation. They said mutant there. Got to deal with that mutant. That Pure fire, double moves. That's good. And we got that security blip which is moving all right some damage yeah that was to, uh, to be expected and we are fighting against two hunters at the same time this is on top of on top of all of uh, the things that i have uh, have installed why exactly does the game think it's a good idea to to provide two hunters for once? It doesn't really make a lot of sense. All right, so just stick with me. I could hit both. That would be a worthwhile grenade. Do we have death from above? Yes, we do. All right, let's let's do this. Death from above is triggering.
Moving in with the wrath. That means we can now see this completely imbalanced mutant. You're not telling me that this little uh, rail here is actually preventing us from... from... <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Uh. All right, we got to remove that. Unfortunately, can't really abuse death from above any further. We can't risk a shot. Half cover, but flanking is better than standing kind of in the open. That's a pretty solid crit chance. Fifty-fifty. Look, the mutant would be absolutely the right uh, target to just kill from here but apparently that little little tiny itsy bitsy thing is in the way can't really let him uh, go like he has six to eight that's a one shot for all of our um, all of our operators and it doesn't matter if we're in uh, if we're flanked or not so might as well try to crit him that's a 50 percent chance even with minimum damage that would be a kill okay it was worth it i can restell we're not going to die Nice. Two tracking shots. Come out, come out wherever you Fantastic. Are. Moving into full cover, Sonar continues to kind of stay nicely secured. We need to continue being in the shadows. Moving as ordered. I would love to just reload because I think that that is a great idea. We still have enough time. Oh, I had f uh, free reloader that was wa uh, wasted. move up here is that worth it closer to the extraction zone so i suppose it's not a bad idea gives us more leniency on the timing Move all the way to here and then back. It, yeah, it's now it's a bit of repositioning, and uh, this is the more technical side of XCOM, trying to stay out of uh, their field of vision. I don't want to fight both of them at the same time. Currently. They still have some sort of of vision on us.
Good, we're moving up. At the same time, we're getting ready to remote hack. Cannon moved a little bit further back. Euler is still fine. And Sonar takes full cover. I want closer. Good, we're moving all the way over here soon. That would be a remote hack. Still high ground. Not in range. Which is a pity. I go where you tell me. Fortunately not a second claymore either. Not yet. Twenty nine percent. much of a distance penalty I wish we were a little bit closer we have the time though could move to here it's still high ground Non nothing fancy but okay problem is we would get a bit close they might start taking aim at us, which I would deeply regret if that would happen. Nah. That was a long shot in the literal sense. All right, reloading, and I think we're going to engage next turn. Trying to single pull one of them. Or the alternative could be to just run to the exit. Tracking shots are not killing us, and we don't need to fight them, really. We still have time. Getting nervous yet. On my way. All right, moving up. There is the heck we were looking for. Yeah, I think we're just taking that small Cash of supplies. That's good. Got it. Okay, someone needs to open the door and that someone is going to be Wrath. Yeah, these guys are still too far away. Moving up. Moving up. Set 
And moving up. Okay, cool. That worked. Opening it is a free action. So I think next turn it might even be possible to completely um, get out of here. Not sure, but we're going to see. Okay, so yes, he would reach it. Yes, he would reach it. The VIP is moving with us towards the evac. The only thing worse than losing the fight down here is listening to the elders rant about it later. Now you see why the elders sent three of us. The others are already failing to impress. You've got the chosen in range. Endor's not fully getting there yet, but we could move to here and just hide. Euler can make it. Okay, cool. Moving. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Maybe you need to slow it down. Copy that. Got a cover. E movimento. All right, and we're evacuating. Good. Overall, it would still be a success even if we were to lose Endors now, but I think we should be fine. No point in dealing with the reinforcements. Ooh. See you later, guys. Well, that hunter was nasty, wasn't it? Like He used uh, that railgun. Six points of damage. That would have been an insta-kill for all of our units. Eight points, actually, at max. Six to eight. And so that would definitely be a solo kill. 18 hit points, two armor. Oh yeah, the difficulty is cranked up, dialed up to 11. And I'm wondering uh, if that is early mid-game units, like we're just seeing mutants for the first time and it was mutant hunter, like that normal mutant almost was pale in comparison. He was tame, he went down after a grenade. Um, and a bit of a uh, claymore but the other mutants holy moly well we got 35 supplies 90 intel and a scientist okay I think that just went as well as you could hope it would go and we're now at five scientists, which means plate armor is even uh, just speeding up. So we're getting kind of that momentum that I was hoping for initially. With plated armor, things might look a little bit different. For now, we need that extra engineer just so we can get going. And overall, I mean, the Avatar pro, uh, project isn't full yet, which is good, so we don't need to do the uh, Black Side mission. We got another engineer. 
5 days on plated armor. Can't use the proving grounds anyways beforehand. I think we're just continuing to clear the alien debris really. It's slow going. Could kind of put an engineer down there, but I believe uh, the resistance orders are now really, really important. We're okay. Let me just double check. We have enough alloys. I think the bulb hub is the only weapon that we haven't upgraded yet. No, we have upgraded it. I think we will need more than 20 alloys for the armor though. Mine shields would be great as well. But yeah, let's get plated armor first and see if we can somehow make that. And we're going to establish contact like we originally wanted to. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our system. To establish local regional contacts. Okay, so hidden dark event which we don't know what it is and an engineer which we could definitely use that is a great mission hive and dark elders not really good and this here will make all advent much more powerful but the hidden event frankly could be even worse than that i know that if alloy padding goes through I will eat my words because that will just make every single advent so much more difficult to kill. But the hidden dark event might be even worse. And uh, for those of you who have noticed, like there are side goals. And the first side goal, one out of three, which we already countered in one of the events, um, that was a side goal where if, if that project ever goes through, Every single mission is a sudden death. So the moment after that goes through the, that I'm even losing a single mission, the game is over. And like that's the level of uh, difficulty that those side goals have. So that's completely crazy. I think I need to do the Western one. Also, if we're losing this, we're not going to kind of lose that entire region. Transmitter will be a bit iffy because it's a timed mission. But nothing is nothing comes easy at the moment. This year is it's just painful. We're at this point where the difficulty definitely cranks up. And there's really no good counterplay. So we got holo targeting, which I think would be helpful. I like Haywire Protocol, which is almost better than holo targeting. Change out, of course, is fantastic with 25 points, a bit stiff. What a targeting. Hmm. I think we're going with Haywire Protocol first. Holo targeting is really good, though. Just looking at these other abilities here. Look, I could skill so many of uh, them, but I want to be really careful not to overdo it. That extra shredder looks tasty, but I don't want to uh, jeopardize our XCOM ability points. I want to save them for, for a rainy day. Doesn't appear like we can skill anything on anyone. Nope. Uh, it's that was pretty much it, but still, Haywire hey, Protocol is good. I like it. We haven't gotten that captain rank for the sixth slot, and that's another big problem. Can't really see what we're going to get. I would like to see if there is a promotion available. Okay, but whatever. Anyway, so. Uh, we're clearing the alien debris and that brings us to the end of uh, today's episode. So close to plated armor. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, uh, think about uh, how much time it would take to dust out such a room. And uh, with that, imagine that uh, you want to cheer on the 
um, the engineer doing that by clicking that sweet sweet like button and leaving a comment down below thanks for watching guys and see you in two days bye bye